Hey guys, Rob from Cigar Federation here with you at IPCPR 2015. We're here just outside of the Illusione booth. I'm here with Dion and we're going to talk about some of the new stuff. Dion, thanks for taking the time to hang out with us. Really yeah, do appreciate it. No worries, man. My pleasure. So how's everything going at the show so far? It's going well, man. I, I love New Orleans. It's it's probably one of my favorite cities in the world, uh, obviously for the for the food, for the culture. Uh, I, I really, really look forward to coming here. It's, 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 it's one of my favorite times. When you talk about the food, what specifically do you look forward to? Uh, you know, it's just the, the, the Cajun Creole, the mix of, uh, of French, the, the, the technical aspects of it. I mean, you can be down and dirty with uh, great things just as just like po' boys and mufalettas, uh, mufalatas, sorry, I didn't mean to butcher it. Uh, all the way up to like real uh, uh, technical dishes that uh, have Creole influence but are, uh, uh, that are done in a technical, uh, legitimate French way that they're just phenomenal. There's really few better places I would, I would imagine in the world that can do what New Orleans does food-wise. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. We went, uh, we stopped at a place called Felix's and got the charbroiled oysters, yeah. you, or the char, not charbroiled, char-grilled. Yeah. Have, you, have you had those? Uh, I've, I've had probably a version of it, you know, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. We, we bought a, a plate of them for the table and they were just gone in a few minutes. They were great. So, we'll get back to cigars now. So tell us what's new and what's hot at the show. A uh, couple, you know, a couple new things. I didn't release any new lines, uh, per se. Uh, Fuma de Amor did great uh, last year, uh, and I'm not one to, to throw new things on top of other uh, cigars that that are getting legs in the industry. It's, it's 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 more pressure on me. It's more pressure on retailers. Uh, shelf space is limited for them, and I know that they're in a very uh, a, a, a stressful position when they want to bring in something new, but they just don't have the room for it. Um, being in the retail business for 25 years, it's really my first focus to to create core lines for retailers so that uh, they have the uh, best legs and, and, and the best survival rate in the market. So uh, I think the Fume de Amor, it took me almost or just a little over three years to uh, release. And when, I wanna, and, and when I release something, I want to make sure that it has the best possible chance uh, of success in the market. And I think, uh, I, I think it went really well with, with Fume de Amor. So uh, next year's my 10th anniversary. Uh, we'll be doing some some different things next year, wacky, uh, not wacky, but you know, just uh, <laughs> it, fun stuff. yeah. I'll be I'll be able to get really creative, and I'll I'll, I'll probably be very uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know how you want to say, just uh, I'll do some things that'll hopefully be be to everybody's liking. Yeah. yeah, the Fumé de Amor was wildly successful last year. Everybody on Cigar Federation who smoked it loved it, raved about it. That's one of those cigars that people keep talking about, um, and it was in such a great price point that it wasn't you know you have to take out a second mortgage to pick up a box or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody's striving for that. Uh, there are very, very few people in the industry that, that, that can actually um, produce uh, a, a cigar, both qu uh, quality and quantity, uh, even more so in, in, in the price range. I mean, everybody's striving to be that $20, $25, $30 Padron or the Davidoff or whatever. Uh, but, you know, nobody works tobacco like Padron and nobody markets cigars like Davidoff. So... <laughs> Uh, I, I stick with what I know how to do. I work on smaller margins, but the quality of tobacco that I actually have access to uh, through uh, Eduardo and his farms, it just puts me in a really advantageous position in that um, basically 70 to 80% of my time down in Nicaragua is just going through the pilones as stuff comes out from the various farms, setting things aside and uh, proofing it as it goes through the fermentation process. And again, it's really advantageous, advantageous for me because if you don't control the tobacco, you don't control the quality and the consistency. Yeah, and quality, I mean, that's what you guys are built on. Everybody knows the quality and everything with uh, Illusione is so consistent. Now, it's interesting. You said that you don't want to keep putting out new releases, new releases just for the sake of that. You don't feel the pressure to have something new at the show every year? Well, there, there's always pressure. I mean, years ago, companies like CAO, they were really the first ones to legitimately and literally come out with a cigar every year, cigar every year. So, you know, back in the mid to late 90s, uh, it was always, oh, can't wait to see what CAO does, CAO does. But they kind of set, they kind of raised the bar to that whole, um, uh, 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 what do you, what do I want to say the, the right word um, uh, uh, fervor sure. into new things but again it puts it, it puts pressure on the retailer because you go from six facings to 12 facings 
to 18 facings and then pretty soon, and it's good, it's great for the manufacturer to have such a, a large footprint, but retailers, you get to a point the retailers are like, I, what, enough is enough, I have to stop, I have to sell what sells. And again, with making Illusioni cigars, we really, really concentrate on being a core line in, in, in shops. Uh, core line meaning when you go in and, 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 and you purchase cigars, when you ask uh, the retailer, you know, what, what are your, say, 10 most popular cigars, if it's Fuente, Padron, uh, Tatawai, hopefully uh, Illusioni is, is, is in that rotation or, or in their core lines that they can go to as a retailer and suggest to their, uh, uh, their, their end user to, uh, to achieve that goal, not only for them and for us. So uh, for me, that means a lot of restraint and not wanting to come out because having access to all that tobacco is is really exciting in that you could put so many things together, nuances and flavors and dynamics of, of Nicaraguan tobacco, but at the same time you kind of kind of pull in the reins and, and think of the retailer and, and, and give respect to the brand that you just released too to, 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 to let it come to fruition. You know, so you're not throwing you're not throwing um, substandard product on top of excellent product and burying it and all of a sudden it's just it's chaos. So that's a, that's a refreshing attitude, really, in this industry that you can see. And I don't want to say saturated because it's not really maybe the right term, but there's a lot of great cigars out there. Sometimes, like you said, the Fumé de Amor, you brought that out last year. It was a great cigar. It had a lot of success. Let it build upon that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, uh, on, on that note, Fumé de Amor, what we did was uh, we released a Lancero this year. Uh, and arguably, it's I, I, I would say everybody because everybody's moving to 660s, 7x70s, 8x80s, whatever it is. Um, I think over the years I've been known, uh, as well as a few other guys here as well, for more traditional sizes. I do sell a ton of Lanceros, even though relatively in the market it may not be that many, but it, 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 it garners a lot of attention, and that's kind of I think we're really like guys like myself and you know guys like Pete Johnson really shine is in the smaller ring gauges because we can really get down to that one specific tobacco and flavor that we like and feature it. Absolutely that's awesome. New Lancero so you guys are going to want to check that out. Dion thank you so much. I could sit here and talk to you for hours but I know you got to go. So thank you so much for taking the time. No really do appreciate it. You got it. Guys thanks for checking out all of our coverage on CigarFederation.com.